air is awesome. You can breathe it, it keeps paper airplanes afloat, and it cools you down on hot summer days. But what about when it's blowing around in a circle at 480 kilometers an hour and sucking you up, your home, and all of your possessions? Well, honey, that's called a tornado, and the answer to that question is what we're here to find out. But first, make sure to subscribe to the Brainiac YouTube channel below. Tornadoes are inherently the result of conflict. They occur when cold, dry air meets warm, moist air, and the two decide to swirl around and hash out their differences in a battle for aerial supremacy, adding a whole new meaning to the phrase, turn up. Tornadoes are particularly common in the United States for this reason, with the aforementioned warm, moist air from Mexico and the cold, dry air from Canada meeting in a region known as Tornado Alley, which is an awesome name for what is likely a terrifying place to live. Over three quarters of the world's tornadoes actually happen in Tornado Valley, so it definitely lives up to its reputation. Quick, before we go any further, let's debunk some common tornado myths, shall we? Some people say that during a tornado, you should open all the windows in your house to equalize the pressure. You know, therefore protecting your home from destruction. Those people would be wrong. Turns out, opening your windows doesn't do sh** and wastes valuable evacuation time. Also, being near a window is pretty much the worst place you can be during a tornado, unless you're a fan of broken glass in your face. Woohoo. Urban dwellers might find some solace with myth number two, that tornadoes never hit big cities. Unfortunately, that solace is misguided since, uh, you know, tornadoes do hit major cities. Incredibly destructive tornadoes have swept through major U.S. cities like Atlanta and Oklahoma City and caused billions of dollars worth of damage. The thing is, there's just a lot more rural land than there is city space in the world, so it just seems like cities aren't impacted. So it's not like cities have some unique tornado dissipating structure, it's just that they're less likely to find themselves in one's path. You know, math. Which brings us to our next myth, that you can get swept up into a tornado and walk away completely unscathed. This one, surprisingly, is not a myth at all. Turns out there have been tons of reports of people, animals, belongings getting sucked up into huge tornadoes and being set down up to a quarter mile away with no noticeable injuries. In fact, in April 2011, a young boy was swept out of his bed by a huge tornado and set down a few hundred yards away, and then casually walked back home, you know, like nothing had gone wrong. Talk about a wake-up call. I like to think that at some point during this time, he ended up in a mythical land called Oz with a Tin Man, Scarecrow, and Cowardly Lion as companions, but who can really be sure? Show me the receipts. Now, don't let this trick you into thinking that tornadoes are safe. Over 1,500 people sustain injuries every single year because of tornadoes, which means 91% of people who encounter a tornado won't be able to make it out unharmed. And that's not a chance you'll want to take. The only weather events more dangerous than a good old-fashioned twister are heat waves, hurricanes, and of course, flooding. Ideally, if you find yourself in Tornado Town, you want to get to an underground bunker as soon as possible. If you can't find one, a basement will do the trick. And if you're out in the open, try to find a ditch or some form of shelter to protect you. If none of the above are available, well, then you're kind of f***ed and odds are you're going to get sucked in. Which is when things get really interesting. Quick disclaimer, if you're an adult person, the odds of a tornado being able to suck you in and keep you afloat for an extended period of time are pretty slim. But since there are tornadoes that go up to 300 miles per hour, and that they're about two miles wide, it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility. If you do get sucked into a tornado, you better hope that you get spat out within three minutes or so, or you could be in serious trouble. The wind speed in a tornado is so high that it's incredibly difficult, if not outright impossible, to breathe, meaning you're relying on your lungs' oxygen reserves alone. If the thought of that doesn't take your breath away, bear in mind that you probably aren't the only thing this tornado has picked up on its little journey. Flying debris, sand, and rocks are all common features in tornadoes and can cut you, bang you up, and even blind you. So remember, hold your breath, close your eyes, and try to get into the fetal position to minimize your exposure to dangerous materials. If by some miracle you've managed to hold your breath this entire time while dodging deadly projectiles, all that's left to do is nail the dismount. Of course, tornadoes can extend up to five miles into the sky, so that might be easier said than done. Your chances of making it up that high are slim to begin with, but hopefully you'll be making an exit closer to the ground floor because, uh, one way or another, you're gonna end up back there anyway. Yikes. Of course, where you land is important too. Bale of hay? Yay. Bale of knives? Oh my. 
Really, you shouldn't find yourself in a situation where you're caught up in a tornado because we're pretty good at detecting and tracking them, and they're surprisingly slow moving, which means you should have plenty of time to evacuate your home and find a safe place to ride it out. But if you do see a cow flying past your window, just know you're in for a wild ride. Oh, and that was a test. For f**k's sake, please stay away from the windows. Oh, and before we forget, head to our YouTube channel and click the button on our homepage banner if you want to suggest topics for our upcoming videos. Honestly, feel free to suggest anything your inquisitive little hearts desire, and we'll do the rest. Until next time, Brainiacs, remember, we're not in Kansas anymore.